So, we will continue the discussion on unbounded operators and introduce some more terminology. So, this is one graph norm of A and then graph itself. Okay. So, this is just graph of A. So, this is a subset of, so I denote it by G of A. So, this is set of all uh, pair of points A x as x varies in D A. So, this is a subset of the Cartesian product x cross x okay. and since a is linear a is linear implies g a is a subspace of x cross x. So, the third concept again these are definitions. So, A is closed. Okay. So, this comes very close to the continuity or boundedness of the operator. A is closed if G A is a closed subspace. of x cross x. Okay, so, this is the definition <coughs> equivalently. So, you can write it using sequences. A is closed if the two conditions namely the section uh, in D A, x n converges to x, this is in the norm x and A x n converges to y. Okay. So, these two conditions imply x is in D A and uh, A x equal to y. So, when A is continuous x n converts to x that itself implies A x n converts to A x. So, since A is not continuous, so this extra assumption uh, is required. Okay. So, x n converges and A x n converges and then we have this limit. Okay. So, that is equivalent to saying that the graph itself is uh, <coughs> a closed subspace. Okay. So, here is a small proposition. So, that is very easy to verify. So, A is closed if and only if uh, this D A D A with graph norm. Okay. So, sometimes we also write this as D A. So, in this D A you introduce this graph norm is a Banach space. So, you have several equivalence of this <coughs> property of a closed operator. Okay. So, 
very easy to verify. So, one more definition A is densely defined if D A is dense in X. So, the generator of <coughs> a semi group it turns out that it is a densely defined closer operator. Okay. So, that will come little later. So, this densely defined closer operators are the uh, main objects of our study. Okay. Uh, so, one remark about uh, equality of two uh, linear operators and extension restriction will do that. Okay. So, <coughs> an example again a simple example. So, for example, just you take x equal to L 2 r okay, and I want to define a f equal to f prime f in x. So, we have now many choices for uh, domains of this definition. Okay. So, one domain we take all the classical things. Okay. So, f c 1 for example, of course, C 1 function need not be uh, integrable. So, again you put compact support. Okay. So, this on this domain we can define that. So, and other possibility. So, you take f in x and then you take f prime. So, this certainly exists in the sense of distributions and you demand that that is also in x. So, on both this d 1 and d 2 we can define this differential operator namely a f equal to f prime, but technically and even uh, qualitatively these two are two different operators. So, if you define a 1 f equal to f prime for f in d 1 let me put di so a1 is not the same as a2 okay so that brings us to so when the equality holds and uh, other one more concept okay uh, suppose So, A and B are linear operators in X. So, with okay, corresponding D A and D B. We say A is a restriction of B equivalently B is an extension of A. Of A. If uh, D A is a subspace of d b and this is important a x equal to b x for all x in d. Okay. So, in that sense, <coughs> 
So, therefore, uh, no. uh, thus A equal to B if and only if ah, with notation ok just notation we write A is restriction of ok. So, these are not sets ok. So, these are operators, but still that notation is used A is a restriction of B and B is a restriction of A ok. So, the domains have to be coincide and their values also should be. Uh, so, even if domains are different, but the expressions are different then they are not uh, same operators. Right. Okay. Okay. So, one more important concept we do need. So, this is namely of the spectrum of spectrum and resolvent of A. Okay. <coughs> Suppose lambda is a complex number and you consider ah, so many concepts. So, I just okay. with that thing. So, this suppose I have two op linear operators A and B, okay. So, this A plus B. is defined. So, we have to be a bit careful while dealing with uh, unbounded operators because they are not defined on the whole space. Okay. So, the domain of this A plus B is D A intersection. and a usual definition. So, okay, just A x A plus B x is uh, A x plus B x for x in D A plus B. And similarly, this uh, composition or multiplication. So, this domain of A B. Okay, so, you have to do many examples to get familiarity with these new objects. So, first of all in order to define this A B x. So, x has to be in domain of B and that is not sufficient. So, then this B x has to be domain of A. Okay. So, then we define this A B of x for such x in d a b a of b x. Just to see that these expressions make sense okay, finally, that is the uh, that is the thing. Okay. Just. So, consider this. So, I the identity so, there is no problem in defining this lambda i minus a and that is again domain if you consider here i defined on the entire space. So, this lambda i minus a is defined on d a. Okay. So, assume that one.
if lambda belongs to C is such that the operator lambda i minus a. So, this is from d a into x is 1 1 on 2. So, lambda i minus a inverse as a mapping certainly defined okay, and so, this lambda i minus a inverse it defined as a linear operator, but you demand that is in okay. Then we say that lambda is in the resolvent set of A. Okay, so, this is notation rho A. So, this is the resolvent set. Okay. So, we also denote this res only resolvent. Okay. So, resolvent so R lambda A is lambda I minus A inverse. Of course, this is defined for lambda in rho A. The complement of rho A in C, the complement C minus rho A, this we denote it by sigma E the spectrum. So, in case of bounded operators, okay, so bounded operators A, so we know that sigma A is non empty and compact. Okay. So, so rho A is the resolvent is large. Because it is the complement of a compact set. Okay. So, essentially the hill Euclid theorem requires that the resolvent has to be large enough. Okay. That will uh, make it precise. Okay. But in case of unbounded operators, the situation is uh, different, it may happen uh, that sigma a empty or sigma a okay so that's uh, 
that is the difference ok. So, of course, we do not want such a situation. So, for many of our differential operators uh, we have some satisfactory <coughs> non empty sets. But however, what is true is of course, this definition we are not using any uh, in the definition of spectrum and resolvent we are not assuming a is, a is just linear ok. So, just uh, uh, <coughs> a word about this thing ok. So, we have to just uh, because of this in general the uh, product of two linear operators uh, <coughs> has to be properly defined. So, let me just make that uh, ok. So, so suppose lambda belongs to the resolvent set ok. So, we know that this lambda i minus a inverse exits. So, its domain is whole of x ok, but the domain of lambda i minus a. So, we have lambda i minus a lambda i minus a inverse x is equal to x for all x in x because this domain is <coughs> uh, whole of x. Whereas, if you reverse the order and this is valid only for x in d a because this makes sense only for x in d a. So, combining these two we can write this as uh, lambda i minus a inverse lambda i minus a is restriction of the identity which is equal to lambda i minus a. So, these are simple observations, but one should uh, keep uh, these things in mind while compute, comp doing computation. Ok. Uh, next ok. So, what is important is, so in the case of bounded operators we uh, already know that sigma a is compact. So, so, rho a is open because it is complement of the ok. So, in general we have this. So, rho a is open, it could be empty, but rho a is an open subset and hence the sigma a is closed. This we have even in a general uh, <coughs> for unbounded operators ok. Again a simple uh, property to check ok. So, the importance of rho a being uh, non empty ok. So, if rho a is non empty then a is closed so it's a very simple exercise you should do that okay <coughs> So, one of the 
important properties of this resolvent, resolvent this lamb, lambda A. Okay, so this is very similar to the case of bounded operators. Okay, so this. <coughs> so let me just uh, quickly state that. Okay, so this. Uh, <coughs> so simple properties. So this. You should verify. You should just sit down and do this work. It's not. Uh, uh, very hard. So, this is resolvent identity. Okay. So, R lambda A, it is so simple, but very useful. Okay. In Uh, where is that? Mu minus uh, lambda R lambda A. So, for lambda mu belonging to rho a. So, <coughs> this mapping, the mapping of course, when the rho a is non empty, okay, otherwise. <coughs> this lambda going to R lambda A is an analytic uh, <coughs> mapping from rho A to B x. Okay, so this itself is a Banach space. So, so this is an analytic mapping, and okay, so this we have this expression. So let me just write that d n by d lambda n r lambda a is. n factorial r lambda a very similar to the uh, <coughs> scalar function case. So, n equal to okay, These expressions are uh, used in the proof of hill Yoshida theorem, but we are not going to those details, uh, but they are certainly uh, useful in obtaining estimates for the resolvent. In fact, hill Yoshida theorem, uh, the conditions are essentially on this resolvent, on the estimate of uh, this R lambda A. Okay, uh, so that is fine. So I just maybe just one one simple example just uh, for you to work out. Okay, so this is the discrete case. I just so one example. Let me just state in the. So in this example, this is I take little l two. So these are all. 
uh, space of sequences which are square summable. Okay, so <coughs> and let a equal to a n be any sequence need not be in x. Okay. Sequence of either real numbers or complex numbers, so does not matter. So, define uh, the operator A operator A by A x. So, I take a sequence in the space L 2. So, I want to know what is its nth coordinate. So, this is simply A n x n n equal to 1 2 etcetera. So, this is the def definition. So, I want this obviously A x again back to be in A l. Okay. So, this d a d a. So, this <coughs> uh, set of all x in x such that this new sequence A x. Okay. So, this I simply write as A n x n. again in L 2. Okay. So, then only this makes sense. So, then A is from D A to L 2. Okay. So, here is uh, <coughs> uh, properties of A. So, very easy to verify, but work out, work out all these things. So, this is the proposition. So, 1 A is a densely defined closed operator The spectrum of A okay, is precisely you take all this A n's from the sequence and then you take the closer, closer in C. A is bounded. if and only if A is a bounded sequence. Okay, just one more thing, just there are many more, but just let me. Uh, so, suppose real part of A n is less than or equal to some omega, omega 0, omega 0 for all n. Okay. So, if A is a real sequence, then it is just bounded above. Okay. So, there is no absolute value here. So, it is only bounded above. Then, any lambda bigger than omega 0 is in rho a. Okay. Work out this interesting and this is an example of a multiplication operator. We also see the continuous analog uh, when we study uh, semi groups in function spaces. Okay. Though uh, it looks easy, but they are not. So, you have to really work hard and uh, so many details are missing. So, you have to fill them. Uh, so, uh, refer to some good books on functional analysis and work out. So, I will stop here and we will continue 
नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक यू